Hello everyone, my name is Jatin Nagi and today we are going to discuss about rice processing. Please watch this video till end and if you like it then please share and like this video and subscribe our channel for latest updates. So let's get started. Firstly we are going to discuss about introduction. Rice, its scientific name is Orzea sativa. It is one of the oldest and most important food crops of the world. It is staple food for more than half of the world population. About 92% of the world rice crop is produced in the Asian continent. So this is all about introduction. Now we are moving further to rice milling. The objective of the rice milling is to remove the husk and bran with minimum possible breakage of endosperm. Paddy is generally harvested at 18 to 25 moisture content and then dried to 12 to 13 moisture content. So either on farm or at the mill before processing. So let's move further to basic flow chart of rice milling process. First is paddy. We basically harvest those paddy, then store, then cleaner, cleaning process goes on, then drying, then shelling, then husk aspirator, then paddy separator here. The paddy is directly shelled and then paddy separated, then brown rice obtained, then it's polished that by polisher, then bran aspirator, then finally grading. Grading is then broken are separated in head rice and then the packaging. We are going to discuss these steps briefly in our upcoming slides. So let's move further to first step that is cleaning. The paddy is first passed over a screen to remove larger particles, straws and strings. After that, it is passed through second screen which is having smaller perforations than first screen to remove weed seeds and sand. The paddy then flows in the form of a thin layer into a channel where an air current removes dead grains and other lighter impurities. At the last, paddy are passed through magnetic separator to remove metal particles. So this is all about cleaning and this is a cleaner. So let's move further to para boiling of paddy. Paddy is soaked and wet paddy is heated then dried. To achieve maximum recovery of head rice and to minimize breaking during milling, para boiling is done. This is important point indeed. So let's move further to drying. LSU, Lucania State University drying is a mechanical hot air dryer. During the first pass, paddy should be dried to moisture content of 16 to 17% and then tempered for 3 to 4 hours. This is important point indeed and this is how it looks like. So let's move further to de-stoner. Separating paddy from stones and pebbles before milling or de-husking is the main function of de-stoner. Equipment name is de-stoner. Is, this is how it looks like. So let's move further to shelling. Separating husk from the paddy grain. Paddy grain is passed between two resilient surfaces moving at different speed in the opposite direction. Equipment name is rubber roller sheller. So this is how it looks like. So let's move further to paddy separator. Separating paddy from brown rice is the main function of this equipment that is tray separator and this is how it looks like. So the key function is to remove paddy from rice. If rice con is contaminated with paddy, the consumer can get a negative impression that the rice is not clean. After the separation, brown rice is sent along the conveyor chain and down to the bucket elevator which shifts rice to a container above a polisher. So this is the most important function of paddy separator. So let's move further to whitener removal of bran layers from brown rice. The rice is whitened very gently between grinding wheel and screen without distracting the original shape of the rice kernel. The product is subjected to abrasion in whitening chamber between the sieves and grinding wheels to remove a thin layer of brand so this is how it looks like this is the whitener and you can re refer to this image too this is a brown rice and this is the white and rice so here the whitening operation is done so let's move further to grader the grader is used for obtaining higher quality rice which contains less broken it is cylindrical in shape and intended on the inner side so this is how grader looks like so let's move further to whitening packaging sorry weighing packaging transporting so the rice obtained filled in the jute bags and weigh on the weighing machine bags are 25 to 50 kg 
and after that transportation by trucks tractors to the buyers so this is how jute bags looks like and basically the quantity depends on the supplier and the buyer so this is all about today's i hope you have learned something from this video please like and share this video and subscribe our channel thanks for watching